So in this drawing, you can have an idea how the gallbladder is related to other organs like the stomach and the liver. There are two major types of gallstones, cholesterol stones and pigment stones. For the purpose of this video, I will just talk about cholesterol stones, which account for more than 90% of all gallstones in Western industrialized countries. Gallstones are quite prevalent in most Western countries, with an overall prevalence of gallstones of 8% in men and 17% in women. But how do gallstones form? There are several important mechanisms in the formation of gallstones. The most important is increased biliary secretion of cholesterol, and these may occur in association with obesity, the metabolic syndrome, high caloric and cholesterol rich diets and some drugs. Another important mechanism in cholesterol gallstone formation is gallbladder hypomotility, that is when the gallbladder does not contract enough times. And therefore, the incidence of gallstones is increased in conditions associated with infrequent gallbladder emptying as it happens during prolonged fasting. And this is why quick weight cuts through very low calorie diets are associated with cholesterol stone formation. So much so that approximately 10 to 20% of persons with rapid weight reductions achieved through very low calorie dieting develop gallstones. But why should you care? The problem with, with gallstones is that they can cause inflammation or obstruction following their migration into the cystic duct or comabiliary duct, as you can see in this drawing. And when that happens, it increases intraluminal pressure inside the biliary duct, which can lead to serious life-threatening complications like infection slash inflammation of the gallbladder and or the pancreas. So, if you are trying to lose weight, avoid quick diets. But if you have to do it for some reason, take UDCA and avoid long periods of fasting. UDCA stands for ursodesoxycholic acid and in a dosage of 600 mg per day proved highly effective in preventing gallstone formation, reducing the risk of its development by almost 10 times.